From three and a half miles from Hanksville on Route 24, you turn right on a dirt road, which you can go easily with a car. The landscape is quite beautiful. And then, doing another three miles, you reach Mars Desert Research Station. After staying there for a while, we decided to do a mile and a half further. Hanksville, Utah. This is the uh, front of a scrapyard. I hope you'll enjoy this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please think of subscribing. This way you won't miss nothing and you will support my channel. Thank you. Fremont River. Welcome to Planet Mars. The Mars Desert Research Station is situated on San Rafael Swell of Southern Utah. The station is the second simulated Mars analog habitat owned and operated by Mars Society. The station was built near Hanksville, Utah in the early 2000s and it is typically manned by small crews who visit the station for one week to three months rotation to conduct scientific research. The campus includes a two-story habitat called the HAB, a greenhouse called the Green Hab, a solar observatory called the MUS Observatory, a robotic observatory, and an engineer pod called the RAM and a science building called the Science Dome. Tunnels between all the buildings, except the robotic observatory, allows crew to travel between the buildings without a spacesuit while they are in simulation. The Mars Society launched the Mars Analog Research Station project in order to develop key knowledge needed to prepare for the human exploration of Mars. The project's goals are to develop field tactics based on environmental constraints. For example, being required to work in a spacesuit to test the habitat design features and tools, and to assess crew selection protocol. Although much warmer than Mars, the desert location was selected because of its Mars-like terrain and appearance.
from the moment they arrive at the station, crews enter a living on Mars simulation. Crew members must wear an analog spacesuit, simulator, or a sim suit when completing tasks outside the habitat. To simulate the protection they would need from the harsh Martian environment. Complete analog spacesuit simulators include a helmet, jumpsuit, boots, Gators, gloves, an air supply pack, a platypus water pack, and a radio. Handheld radios mounted on the suit's helmets are used to communicate with habitat communication base and with fellow analog Mars surface explorers on the same EVA. For safety reasons, there is always one crew member in the HAB to act as a HABCOM in case anything goes wrong on the extra vehicular activity. The Mars Desert Research Station is owned and operated by the Mars Society, which selects the crews and handles most of the administrative tasks. The Mars Society is an international non-profit organization with chapters worldwide that is dedicated to convincing governments and the public of the benefit of Mars exploration through various projects such as Mars. The Mars Analog Pressurized Rover Competition and the Archimedes Mars Balloon Mission. Mars Desert Research Station crews traditionally consist of six people who volunteer for one or two week shift or crew rotation available during the Northern Hemisphere's winter months. The field season ends in the northern spring since the summer head in the desert is not conductive to a pleasant simulation. The crews usually consist of a mix of scientists, astronomers, physicists, geologists, engineers, and the occasional journalists. Each crew member is usually assigned a role, commander, executive officer, health and safety officer, crew biologist, and chief engineer. The crew commander is ultimately responsible for the entire crew and operations. Sorry, the next 17 seconds was filmed with the K1 too much zoomed in. That's why the grain of the video is very big, but I absolutely wanted to include it. Bonjour euh, la famille, bonjour nos amis. Écoutez, il euh, n'y a pas grand monde qui savent où est-ce qu'on est. Il qu y a juste ceux qui sont déjà venus ici. Alors, euh, je vais vous donner un petit indice. Une grosse plutôt. On est sur Mars. On est loin de chez nous, là. <rire> Très loin. On s'est levé de bonne heure, là. Hein? Alors, un petit coucou à Michel et Nicole. On a fait 5 km, là. Comme ça, là. Faut vraiment t'aimer, Nicole et Michel, pour venir ici. Ouais. 
pour vraiment vous aimer. Serge, il dit, il, on n'est pas tout seul qui a fait la route. Non, oh, c'est plein de touristes qui viennent ici, voyons donc, ça ben se voit oui, à l'œil. C'est plein, c'est plein. Fait que, <rire> on est venu voir de nos yeux. Alors, Je n'aurais pas marché. C'est un 5 km vraiment euh, euh, rock'n'roll. Oui, puis on n'a pas fini, hein? il y en a d'autres à voir, là, ça me plaît. Alors, euh, bye! bye. This is the farther we went. Factory Butte which will be seen in my next video. Mount Helen in Henry Mountains. A completely different view on our return.
Mars Desert Research Station, owned and operated by Mars Society. I will put a link in the description of their website. d'avoir regardé mon vidéo. Si ce n'est pas déjà fait, abonnez-vous. De cette façon, vous supporterez ma chaîne. Bonne journée. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. This way, you will support my channel. Have a nice day. A big thanks to Nicole and Michelle for making us discover this place. S'il vous plaît, aimez, partagez et abonnez-vous. Please hit the like button, share and subscribe.